King of hospitality, come greet ya. He's always with a smile, cause he pleased to meet ya. He keeping it 100, he keeping it peaceful. The question is the name of the show. Damn your people. You got the word, let the whole world know. Damn your people. Life's a party, man, y'all welcome to go. Community is family, that's how we grow. When the king of hospitality step your way, he just want to know what everybody got to say. Talk and laugh to go a long, long way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 By the people TV. Every week some TLC from TYP. Bring laughter to smiles and join your night. One touch from the wand that might change your life. When the king of hospitality says thank you, he not being funny, he just being grateful. He know you know what time it is when you hear this song. You better get your people's them your people's is on. Okay? <laughs> okay. 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 What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. Why am I the King of Hospitality? Because I can take you where you want to be. And guess what? We are on the campus of this great HBCU, Lincoln University, LLL. 820 Chestnut Street. LLL. You, you, you. Who are you to tell me about this? I'm just a person that loves this university, <laughs> love these students, yes. and is just so excited that it's homecoming. Oh, my God. But, but, but okay, I get that. Uh-huh. But I think they told me you was the president. Really? Uh, really? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. I am the president of Lincoln University, oh, the 20th president. The 20th president, wow. And the second female. Oh, my God, look at you. And running things. Well, yeah. I try to. Well, I'll tell you what. The word is out, and you've been doing a very good job. Well, thank you very much. I thank you for having us on your campus for homecoming weekend. Take us to your journey. First of all, they say a young lady from Mississippi. Is that right? That's right. Oh, my God. What you know about Mississippi? I was born and raised in Mississippi. What part of Mississippi? I was in, uh, uh, born and raised in the Mississippi Delta in a li wow. little town called Leland, Mississippi. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And I received most of my education in Mississippi. Mississippi. Now, guess what? What? Your people. My family's from Mississippi. What part? Mississippi. My sisters went to school at Mississippi State. Okay. Okay. And guess what? And Batesville, Mississippi. Yes, I know where both of them are. All right, and guess what? So we started from the bottom, but now we're here. Exactly. There's somebody looking right now. You know what they're saying? Now, how can a Mississippi lady come up to Missouri and handle her business and run the college here at Lincoln University? What do you say to that? Commitment and hard work. Doesn't matter where you're from, no matter what you got, don't have. As long as you are willing to put in the work, you can do and be oh. anything that you want to, to, to be. Oh, my God, I'll tell you what. You've got a lot of students on this campus who are talking. They're talking about you. They're talking about the opportunities that they are afforded because they're coming to HBCU. How important is that to you? It's very important to me. Uh, I'm an HBCU graduate. Okay. I received my undergraduate degree at an HBCU, and I received my Ph.D. from an HBCU. Wow. Wow. So uh, HBCUs are in my blood. I I uh, know the value of them. We serve a, a very diverse student body here at Lincoln. But one thing about it, we give everyone the opportunity to, to be successful. Right. And I think another thing about HBCUs is that we have a culture of caring. That we're going to we gonna care what your academic background is. We're going to keep our hands on you. We're going to keep our okay. eyes on you okay. to make sure you'll be, so you're successful. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. The eyes are definitely on you all this weekend. Homecoming. Yes. Let me, they say that you all have a pack of people, a group of people, a lot of people called alumni. And they say it's nothing like it here. Hey, Lincoln, tell us about them. Well, I tell you what, we have thousands of alumni who come in for homecoming. They are excited. Yeah. I've been on many, um, I've worked on several campuses, and this is a very exciting homecoming. Wow. And the, the alums here just love their university, okay. and that's what's most important. All right, M Madam President, I need you to talk right now. There's somebody at home that's a senior this year. They're about to graduate. Tell them why Lincoln University should be on their consideration. You know, Lincoln University is... Um, it has been around for 153 years. It's, wow. a, it's a historically black um, university here in mid-Missouri, and it has graduated some of the um, most successful uh, individuals in this country. Okay. If if you want to receive a quality education and if you want to come into an environment where people actually care about your future and actually care about your success, then Lincoln University is the place to be. And if for no other reason, I'm the president. Oh so, my God. Well, so right. and I'm going to keep my eyes on them. <laughs> hey, listen, what do you say when he says, Mr. Gary, I'm with the president. She's got her eyes. She's looking out for you and you. And that means parents know when your children get ready to go to college, 
Don't just send them away. You need to get up and check it out, verify, and see to it that you know who the president is. When you talk to someone who's successful and someone who's looking out for your young people, that's where your children need to be. So what do you say? What do you say? It is homecoming weekend 2019 on the campus of Lincoln University. All I can say is LLL. You, you, you. What she said. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can say what it says, Mr. Gary. Let me tell you. We have landed and it's all about education. Look at them once, look at them twice. I've got your honor, Bob Holden, Governor, hello! Welcome great to, to be with you. Oh my God, it's great to have you here, your honor. What does it mean you've supported education for so many years? Everybody knew as the governor, you were about education, education. Someone does not understand education, Governor, take them to school. Well, without education, you don't have an economy. Without education, you don't create a new and better world for everybody. Yes, sir. We've got to be more diversified. Yes, sir. We've got to be more inclusive. Yes, and sir. we've got to be more global yes, in sir. how we're trying to build these relationships. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Does it seem like Lincoln University is on track for just that? Yes. The, uh, new, the new president, I think, is doing a wonderful job. All right. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, you've done a wonderful got, wonderful job. And you know what? You'll always be our people, Governor. Oh, well, thank what do you, you. Say, what do you say, Governor Bob Holden? I've got your people. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? How can I get your people without his people? Get over here. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Jack Bletz. Okay. Mr. Jack Bletz, where are you from? Jeff City. Jeff City. Yes. Is this your governor? Uh, he was my governor, still is the next governor. You know, once that you elected. We still call him governor. There you go, your honor. All rise. Okay. <laughs> okay. 66. Okay. What do you say when he says, Mr. Gary, I got this guy here. He turns all the way up. I'm trying to get him to stay here in the middle. He won't stay in the middle. I can't stay in the middle. Not on my homecoming. Okay. You can't talk about no school on my homecoming about okay. another school, man. Okay. Okay. We're okay. talking about Lincoln University. That's why we here. Okay. Well, I guess, you okay. see what I'm saying? Well, we here because... Ain't no love like that L you love. Right. We got that special stuff going on. Got you hear what I'm saying? But it's special right here wait, 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 at Lincoln wait, wait, University. Wait, 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 attention, K-more shoppers special. Oh, is it man. Special? No, is it it's an L U blue thing. Okay, well, That's what about, we do. Tell me about the blue thing then. Because I don't see you ain't got no blue on. I got L U on. L U right here. I'm going to be L I got L U right here. L U all day. Well, tell everybody what your name is, Mr. L U. My name is Herman. They call me hot. Okay. We represent yeah, Lincoln year, University. Year, year? 87, baby. What, what school? Uh, what you mean? What high school did you go to? I went to St. Louis. No, my people. I know you. So you came up here to Lincoln? Yes. And then they said, because I went to Mizzou. Why you keep on talking about Mizzou on my campus, man? This my homecoming. You can't talk about Mizzou right here. But all I'm this, you ain't hearing me. We always came down for the party. Well, you can party with us, but we ain't going to talk about y'all. We're going to talk about Lincoln University. Hey, what is this is my homecoming, and that's what we do. Always true, always blue. We're going to always be LU forever and ever and ever. Okay. You remember that, okay? Okay, okay so repeat after me, okay? What you talking about? Me? No, man, what you get this dude off my campus? What you, what you get him L off my campus? L -L -L. What you get you, you, you. What you do? Hey, what do you say? What do you say? This is what it's all about. Yes. It's showing up. It's showing out. It's about taking pride. It's about coming home. And guess what? You know what? I think you got it going on. I yes, think we got it. it. No, we got it going on. Yes, them guys right there. Yes, sir. Them people right there. Yes, sir. They founded this. 67 okay. and 50, 65th. Yes, sir. They the one got us where we at right now. Yes, sir. And I honor them. I got a brick up there. Okay. And, and you know what? Okay. Because... Because of them guys right there. Them guys right there. Yes, sir. Right there. They, they made it happen right for us. They did, yes, you see sir. what I'm saying? Because it's always true. Yes, sir. It's going to always be blue. And, it's, it's L -L and we L L L U. What he said. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pre owned, peace of mind, Motor Trends certified vehicles exclusively at every Bomberito location. You say what he says, Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. Why am I the King of Hospitality? Because you said so. I can take you where you want to be, and guess what? I get to take you to who you need to see. Mmm, smell it once. Mmm, smell it twice. What is it? Air is pizza. What is it? Eris Pizza. What is it? Eris Pizza. What is it? Eris Pizza. What is it? The Eris Pizza. Okay, y'all heard all them, but I'm going to do it my way. It's Aris Pizza, baby. Don't it smell so nice? Listen, everybody says when you come to Jefferson City, this is where you got to stop. They say because they got it going on. Why? Why Aris Pizza? 
Because it's the best. Because it's the best. What makes it the best? What makes it the best? It's a historic building. It's been here for over 50 years. It's the best pizza in Jeff City. Okay, so that means if it's been for 50 years, you almost know what you're doing here. Oh, yeah. Tell me why Aaron's Pizza. Because it's family owned and it's family ran. Family owned. And it's the best pizza in Jeff City. Oh, oh, okay. I like that. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me why. We've been here forever. The best pizza. Girl, she already said that. I can't help. Well, what's your name? Christina. Why should they come see you, Christina? I don't know, because I'm Christina. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Here's what I love about Aries Pizza. When you come, ask for Christina. You don't have to, you, you don't have to tip her. Just say, Christina, hi. Christina don't want your tips. She just wants you to come. Is that right, Christina? Yeah. Uh -huh. Say, <laughs> why Aries Pizza? Oh, man, I tell you, I'm from Chicago, all right? And we have some of the best pizza there. But I'll tell you, after this is my 50th year. Okay. Uh, it's the best. And we come here first before we stop to anywhere else. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. It all comes down to you, sir. Who do we have with us? George Pardalis. Okay, George, the... tell me, what do you know about this place? Uh, other than the fact that I grew up in here and my okay. father and mother started this restaurant, oh my God. Uh, that's what I do pretty much every day of my life. So, okay. yeah. So, it's... guess what? Somebody right there is coming to Jeff City. Right. Somebody's traveling all over, and they say, you know what? I got to go to court. When I'm in Jeff City. Right. They say I got to go get my license reinstated. I'm right. up in right. Jeff City. They say I got to go to the Missouri Department of Transportation right. when I'm just in Jeff City. And I might just be hungry. Where might they just come to eat? At 117 West High Street. Okay. Find the capital, you're going to find us. Right across the okay. street. Okay. Okay. Right. And why? Why here? Uh, rich in the tra tradition. Been number one ranked pizza for 59 years. Oh, wow. By the people. Not, not us oh, saying it. But, All right. right. Okay, okay. So that's why. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? Rank number one by the people. He's not just saying that. She's not just saying, come bring your money to her. <laughs> huh. I got you, people. We're Aaron's Pizza here, doing good in the neighborhood and supporting the neighborhood. Hey, Link, listen, Lincoln University, they swear by this place. If you went to Lincoln University, you went here. If you're coming to Lincoln University, you need to come here. If you're coming to Jeff City, don't meet me there, beat me there. What do you say when he says, Mr. Gary, I got your people. I'm at Aaron's Pizza in Jefferson City. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you say, it's Mr. Gary? I got the mayor of these great parts called Jefferson City. Who do I have with me? Mayor Carrie Turgeon. Oh my God, Mayor, what does this mean? This is so important, mm -hmm. and we love it. I was in the parade, yes, and everybody were. was so happy, and just it was great, and yeah, yeah. we were all just saying L L L L. Oh my God. You oh. you you you. Because we know what to do. <laughs> yes, we do. How important is it for the city to support? Uh, HBCU in your in your town. We're so lucky to have yeah. Lincoln here for so many years and yeah. for generations. It means a lot yes, to yes, us, yes, and yes, it's yes. just it's great and homecoming. Everybody comes back, oh and we love having everybody oh, here in we, the capital city. Well, you know what? I love being in your first city. Thank so you. So for all you do, L L L L. You 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 you. Must be for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. What do you say? What do you say, it's Mr. Gary? Hey, listen. All access. This is what happens before it all goes down. Who do I have with me? Mike, Dr. Michael Johnson, Director of Bands at Lincoln University. Oh my God, Doctor, let me tell you something. You did some operating. You practiced because this morning y'all was operating in that parade. You all was so good. Yes, thank you very much. Oh. I'm very proud of their efforts and their work. Oh my God, let me tell you something. The, the arts, how important are the arts? They're very important yeah, yeah. Um, because the arts can be linked to other disciplines as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, a foundation in music is very oh, helpful. Foundation in music. What do I have over here? My name is Larry Newby, Assistant Director of Bands here at Lincoln University. Oh Larry, tell me, what can we expect for halftime performance here? Well, you're going to get a dynamite show. That's one thing for sure. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't want to give you too, much, too many secrets, but you might want to hold on to your seat. We're going to give you some soul, all right? 
Listen, Lincoln University Homecoming 2019 is about laying the foundation. It's about the performance. It's about education. I got your people, okay? <laughs> okay. Say what he says, Mr. Gary. Hey, listen, Homecoming Lincoln 2019. I got my people. These are some young guys doing what they do. LU is just for you. And action. Who do I have? I'm Blake Tills, What's man. What's up, Blake? Blue What's going on? on the Shout out, man. I'm, I'm, I'm from Decatur, Georgia. From Decatur, Georgia. Yep, yep. All the way up in Missouri. Yep. Okay, Lincoln. Yep. What year? I'm a senior. A what? A senior? Yep. Are oh, you going back to Decatur, Georgia? For sure. For sure. Yeah. What's up? Who we got? Oh, Victor Williams, man. Tell me the journey. What's oh, up, man? man. I'm from Compton, California, Los Compton, Angeles, man. Morning, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Compton. yeah. Oh, yeah. What you know about that life? Oh, man. You know all about it, man. Oh, out here God. doing my thing. I'm a graduating Dude. senior That's in December. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Out here, you know what I'm saying? Homecoming, you know, right. yeah. holding it down for the football team. You know, I played yes, last year. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man. That's How it, you know. Oh man. man, it feels good, man. I, I love the the culture, man. That's what Lincoln's all about. You know what I'm saying? Culture, man, and everybody coming out here to support, man. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Who's this guy over here? How's it going, everybody? I'm Kimbo Ferguson. I'm a senior as well. Where you from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Yeah. So we got Florida over here. We got California over here. Oh my God. Miami. I'm Miami. We our own state. Uh, y'all, excuse me, Miami, my own state. Let me tell y'all something. I got y'all people, baby. Who's over here with me? What's up, Joseph? Where you from, Joseph? I'm from Compton, California. From Compton, California yes, as well. Sir. What about you? I'm in Charles. Where you from? I'm from Jersey. From Jersey? Jersey City, New Jersey. Get over here to me, y'all. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> Guys, do y'all see what's going on? This is what's going on. Why would y'all come to Lincoln University? Oh, man, just, you know, to get out, man, and, you know, to better our future, man, and get that education, man, you know, take care of the family, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Everybody talking about this thing called the HBCU. How important is the HBCU? Tell us, what's it about? Uh, it's, it's really important, you know, because we're, we're really talked down. We to pretty much the intelligence that we need you know what i mean just uh, just as a community okay but okay well i tell y'all what they didn't about the community so anybody who did not know jersey's in the house compton compton's in the house the caters in the house cali baby cali baby's in the house dead county miami florida <laughs> everybody's in the house it's all about education 2019 homecoming i got your people okay Okay. He say what he says, Mr. Gary. And right now we know that everybody's going through a lot. And we want to let you know that Save a Lot has got your back. Hey, they are in the neighborhood doing good, and they got you on hookup. They've got your hand sanitizer, they got your tissues, they got your towels, and they got great attitudes. They got people who are anxiously waiting for you to come and shop with them because you all make the difference. So what do you say what he says, Mr. Gary? Save a lot. You got to shop. Okay? And life is better when you save a lot. Okay. He say what he says, Mr. Gary, I got your people. You know why I got your people? Because your people are taking care of St. Louis. We're here at the Nelly Ball, so who else is that to talk to but Nelly? Hey. Yeah, man. How you doing? I am doing wonderful. Listen, I want you to take us on a quick journey. Okay. I'm from U City, class of 82. Got to know You're that. from? U City. One day you walk through U City. Okay. <laughs> and you remember when you walk through the senior hall, mm -hmm. if you want all that, you better go down the steps and go the other way. Is that right? <laughs> no. You know what? Oh. You, 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 U City definitely... Um, prepares you for different stages of your life. That's right. You know what and I mean? What? And it prepared you at a time for like right yeah, now. Is that right? Definitely. You know, I got my swag from the U. Oh my you God. Know what Listen, I mean? all the people are out tonight for your ball, man. Yeah. Making a wish. What Not just mean? mine. Not just mine. You know, it's St. Louis. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. Um, we get a chance to, again, our city has so much division within it. Right. Um, we're growing. We're growing, though. Mm -hmm. You know, we've come a long way. Right. We've come a long way. Yes, trust sir. me. Yes. You know, but we still have so much further to go. And tonight is one of those nights where we get a chance to bring all the surrounding areas. Yeah. St. Louis, East St. Louis, yes. North Side, South Side, uh, right. South County, North County, yes, all the other surrounding counties. We got people come all the way up from Jefferson City, all the oh, way wow. up from wow. Kansas City, all, all the way, way down. Here. And, yeah, Springfield, Missouri, Springfield, Illinois, okay. you know, to come here for this one night so we can all enjoy. So, you know, we just look forward to having a fun night, man. That's right. Listen, let me tell you something. We were talking to some of the kids on the carpet. Okay. from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Right. They started crying. Oh. They said it's because of this that they have hope. How does that make you feel? That's what it's about. That's, that's, right. what, that's what we do. You know what I mean? Um, if I could bring that much joy to somebody who's yes, obviously um, 
been through more tougher things than I have. That's exactly right. You know what I mean? Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. you know, it's a must do. It's okay. a must do. That's exactly right. Listen, we've been following you. I want you to leave us with this. To whom much is given, much is required. What do you say to that, Nelly? You got to know that. As long as you know that, you'll show it. Oh, oh my God. Well, guess what? You showed up and you showed out. Oh, I'm with you. Nelly. He's your people, okay? <laughs> okay. Finally, you can buy a pre owned vehicle worry free with peace of mind. Motor Trend certified vehicles powered by Bomarita. That's a comprehensive nationwide warranty that covers engine, powertrain, brakes, and electrical, AC, suspension, electronics, and more on cars up to 100,000 miles at no extra charge. The best back pre owned vehicles in America are Motor Trend certified vehicles powered by Bomarita. Now at every Bomarita location or 24 7 at Bomarito.com. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. It's all time for summertime, fun time. Play. Where are the kids? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see no kids. They tell me I was coming here for the beat of the kids, the Lincoln Extension. Ki Who do I have with me? We have Lincoln University Corporate Extension Charleston Outreach Center located in Charleston, Missouri. But where are the kids? They're here. I don't. Hello, Pookie, Johnny. Sally, <laughs> Latasha, where are the kids, ma'am? They're here. Man, where are the kids? You don't see them? There they are. There they oh, are. there they are. The kids are right there. Oh, yeah. my God. What do you say? What do you say? Hey, listen, we are thinking outside of the box. We're thinking outside of the box. Who do I have with me? Uh, Michelle Hopkins. Michelle, what is this all about? Oh, my gosh. This is Uni Lincoln University, and this is Bridge the Gap. Yeah. And we are teaching kids via Zoom right oh, now. They're God. having an arts and crafts class with Miss Amanda Thatcher. Oh, my God. See, this is what it's all about. You got to be able to think outside of the box. You got to be able to say, you know what, it's summertime, the kids are going to be looking for something fun to do. You have to keep the kids' mind engaged and keep them occupied. I tell you what, what do they do? Tell me about the program. My goodness, well, these kids are K through 8, okay. and right now there is a group of 7th and 8th graders, um, like I said, in an arts and crafts class. These kids, on a daily basis, are getting math instruction, science and social studies instruction, English instruction, and also special classes. So they're having arts and crafts, and they're having an agriculture class and a facts class, which is my class, okay. where we are doing some cooking. Okay. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Gary shows up and shows out because I know education is what it's all about. So as you say, as we take a walk through, we'll see everything that's going on. We've got the instructors that they're here to give great instructions. Who do I have with me? Alicia. Alicia, what do you do? Oh, I'm the secretary here for Charleston okay. Extension. So, you know, so summer's out. So, is there some secretarial stuff going on in the summertime? Oh, there's plenty of secretarial clerical support going on here. Okay, okay. So, tell me one thing that you love doing. What do you like? Oh, I love everything, actually, because okay. everything goes back to those kiddos. So, everything, everything goes I back do, to the kiddos. Everything. Okay, who do I have over here? You have Brenda Callum. Okay, Miss Brenda, what is it all about here for you? Oh, I just love it. I'm I'm a clerical assistant. Too. Okay. Okay. Yes, and I love working with the kids. You I do the bridge the gaps. The yes. See, let me tell y'all something. People love working with your children. See, some of y'all not working with y'all children. You know why? Because you think that all you need to do is let the children have the phone and let them play games, and all they need to do is just get on the telephone and talk and turn that music up and turn up and turn down for what? They need to turn up for education. Hey, I tell you who gets it. This program is who gets it. Who do I have over here with me? My name is Lois Manor. Okay, Miss Lois, what do you do? I just work with the kids. You just work with I the kids. I work with everybody. So that means that you are the one that's really hands on. You're working with the kids. But girl, they're working on, on, on the computer right now. They're working on TV. How you working with them hands on? I know. I, I know. I've seen that. I, I do that myself in person, okay. though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Tell you what, this is what it's all about. I tell you what you can always do. You can always know that there's someone that's preparing programs that are just for you. And when they're preparing the programs, what are they doing? they sitting down while everybody else doing the work. You see, we got your people sitting down everybody else just working and working hard and she over here sitting down on the job. Ma'am, who do I have with me? This is Sherry Maxwell. And what are you doing, Miss Sherry Maxwell? <laughs> all I can with the little bit I got. Oh my God, all you can with the little bit you got. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, anybody down in this boot hill, all throughout the state of Missouri, they know you, they respect you for what you've been doing. Tell me about the program. Well, this program was 
kind of like almost forced on us because of Miss Rona when she mm -hmm. came to town. Mm -hmm. And so usually we do a summer camp face to face. Okay. But the president felt like it was too risky for us to meet with the students every day. So we had to do a turnaround. Me and this mask don't make it all the way, mm -hmm. by the way. And so we had to do a turnaround and turn what was face to face into a uh, technical Right. Yeah. Uh, a virtual program. Right. So we're doing the same things that we would have done face to face, only it's done virtual, which means we can reach students everywhere. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. It's about reaching students everywhere. It's about education. What I love about Lincoln University, you all have a strong alumni base. And your president is who? Uh, Dr. Gerald Wolf. Oh, I God. thought you knew. Well, let me tell you something. I do know. And I know a lady of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And I know strong leadership when I see it, when I'm in the presence of it. That would be your president. That would be you. The children, what are they saying about this program? Well, they showing up and they showing out. Oh, my God. Well, I tell you what. We're in the Boot Hill of Missouri. It's with Lincoln University's extension program. They're showing up and they're showing out. And guess what? I'm going to show you what it's all about. So what do you say? What he says, Mr. Gary, sit back, relax. I got your people. Okay? <laughs> okay. For the same rate as a 12 credit hour load. Don't let the rising cost of college bog you down. Harris Stowe State University the most affordable bachelor's degree in the state of Missouri. What I got going on today? Uh, you know, I, no, I said, what you got going on? And what did you say when I asked you that question? I was checking out the Mr. Gary You're show. checking out the Mr. Gary show, baby. Let me tell you yeah. something. The show is for the people. The people okay. watch. And you know what they say? They say, I ain't nothing but the truth. So that's mm. what it is. You know, it's a Gary thing. You know it's what I'm saying? It's a Gary thing. So where are you from? I'm from Buckner, Arkansas, man. Okay, from Buckner, Arkansas. Buckner, Arkansas. It's down in the southwest corner. You know what I'm saying? In the southwest who? In the southwest corner of Arkansas. No, no, down no, there, no, Texas no, no, County. No, no, it was the, 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 the corner? The, the corner. The yeah. corner. Yeah. Oh, the corner. Yeah. What is the corner? Well, I mean, the corner is the same thing as the corner. Oh, the corner. Yeah. Because you know I'm yeah. from St. Louis. You from St. Okay. You're, you're right there. I, I, yeah. Right, right, there. right there. Right but in, in there. the corner. In the corner. So sometimes you find your people where they be at. They in the corner. <laughs> Let me tell y'all so. Corner, your bro. people in the corner. Yeah. So for all my people in the corner, oh, not, not not the corner, right? And that right there. In in the what? Corner. In the corner. Yeah. I want y'all to get with your people this summer. Get I want with your people, man. I want y'all to have fun with your people. Yeah. And most of all, just take time to love on your people. Because oh, at the real. end of the day, we all got people. We all got Bang. people. And they say, Mr. Gary, what does it mean when you say them, your people? I mean, it's them, your people. I mean, families are hey. made up of communities. Community Word. people belong in the church. They belong in the neighborhood, from the school. Guess what? From the people who's in your very house. But at the end of the day, them are your people. So, Gary, you know what? I appreciate you taking the time. Hey, man. It. Mr. Gary. Yes, do sir. what you do, man. Yes, if I had me a hat like that, I'd probably get out here and help you. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, you rolling the crown, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Stay down for your people, you hear me? Because at the end of the day, I, they what they is, but they my people. And they what they is. They what they is, cuz. They, they what they is. They what they is. They ain't what they ain't. And they not trying to be all that they could be. Right, but, but guess what they are? <laughs> look over there. Look, look. Um, they over there in the corner. In the corner, bro. In the corner. Word up, Mr. Gear. Do what you do, bro. Come get your people, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs>